Crafting a riddle hunt can be as simple as you'd like. You have total control over how you create the hunt. If you set up an event for a party, assign the hunt to that event. I'll use our example event and assign this hunt to John's birthday party. If you're just making a hunt for fun, there's no need to assign it to an event or name it. If you're creating multiple hunts for a party so that you can have teams compete against each other, name each hunt something like Team 1 and so on for each new hunt. I'll name this Hunt 1. Pick your settings at the top, such as the participant's age, how many clues you'd like in the hunt, if you'd like it to be an indoor or outdoor hunt or both, an introductory statement for the participants, a final destination for what the final clue card says when they solve the hunt, and if you'd like, you can pick an end location from the database so that the hunt will end exactly at a certain location. You can also choose a background image for each set of clue cards. Or you can upload your own image. If you upload your own image, inside here you'll see the My Uploaded Images button and you'll find yours there. Then click Preview Riddle Card to see what your riddle cards will look like. Then scroll down to the next section. In this section, you'll actually generate the hunt based on the settings you chose above. If you haven't selected a lot of items in your object inventory, you'll want to do that before creating a hunt. The way this works is RiddleMe will choose from the objects in your inventory. If you've chosen inventory items for a holiday theme, you can filter by tag and select a certain category which will cause RiddleMe to prioritize those items to appear in your hunt. If it needs more objects, it will pull them from the rest of your inventory. I'll just click Generate a New Hunt and get a sample set of objects. If you wanted, you could scroll to the bottom and print the hunt out, just to be done fast at this point, or you can totally customize the hunt. If I click on one of the items, I can see the riddles selected for that object to the right, and I can choose a new one if I want by scrolling through the list. Users also submit riddles, and sometimes one gets made public that doesn't fully make sense or contains a misspelling or is just inappropriate. You can either report it to us by clicking this link, Report Inappropriate Age or Content, or you can edit it and just make the fix to the riddle yourself. If you want to change an object in the hunt, click this green Recycle button and it will randomly pick a new object. If you'd like to manually select something, Click the object, and then click Change Object up here, and you can choose another object to replace that one. If you want to delete an object in the hunt, click this red X. If you'd like to add an object to the hunt, click the button at the bottom, and you can either add another object from the inventory or create your own object. I'll go ahead and create a test object just to show you. It appears in red because there are no riddles for this object yet. To create one, click it and then click Create Your Own Riddle. In here you can create your own riddle and select the age that matches your hunt. Saving that, you'll see that it's now saved in the list of riddles and it is selected as this object's riddle for the hunt. Scrolling down, we get to the activity section. This is totally optional, but it adds a lot of fun to your hunts. Activities appear at the bottom of riddle cards and give players something to do at each hunt location. You don't have to put activities at each location if you don't want to. You can manually add a physical or mental action by clicking the link by the object and adding one or creating one. In this case, I'll choose from the physical activities and save that and that will appear at the bottom of that clue card. If I wanted, I could come into the category list and choose a category and click randomize, and then all of the objects would get an activity assigned to them. At this point, I'm going to print the hunt, and I can either save or open up this PDF file that was generated, and then I'll save the hunt. Now that the screen has refreshed, if you want to make another hunt for this same event, just click Clear Settings, 
and start over again, assigning a new hunt, I'll call this hunt two, to John's birthday party. That's it. Happy riddling.